Hello guys and welcome to a video by me, Bullet Bullets. In this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you my BB Flashback Pro settings. This has been my question that has been asked over and over again to me from PM to comments to channel comments to anywhere, literally even on Twitter stuff like this and I've never been able to do it before but I found a way around this now. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Now this is going to be in picture form because I can't actually show you my settings of BB Flashback Pro while I'm recording in BB Flashback Pro because it will just stop the film. Um, so I've, took, I've taken actually picture screenshots of this, of each um, step that you need to know about. Now obviously this video is going to be quite fast paced, therefore you're not going to see the images fully if you need to. So all these images will be in the description that you can just view online whenever you need to. So they'll be in the description, um, links in the description of course. And the other thing is I am using BB Flashback Pro which is the paid version. Most people watching this video that want to know about this may be only using the free version, therefore things may be a little bit different for you depending, I don't know. But let's get into this. Now, this part is the first part when you're going to record. I've got it to set to my main screen. I have two screens there for it asks me. I don't get to change the screen resolution. This is standard to switch off the Windows graphics effects, to, which is good for Windows 7 users, um, to keep my normal background and to disable the show window content while dragging option. That's the first part. The second step is to record sound. If you don't want to record your sound, you might as well just skip this part right now. However, if you do want to select your sound, it's very simple. You just literally select where you want to, uh, which audio device you want to record from. You literally set the level how high you want it to be and test that it works. Um, I've got the format to 48k HZ. I've got the use MP3 compression on and it's very high quality. Next part is webcam recording. I don't use rec um, webcams uh, using BB Flashback Pro because when I have used BB Flashback Pro while recording, it seems to make it lag a lot. However, if you do want to use a webcam, you simply click capture from webcam, click your video source, click the video format, and then test the webcam, and you're done. The next part is to record in general, record obviously, of course. I have the GDI to set on, uh, frames per second is 14. I have it to turn off hardware acceleration while recording. The boost performance and use direct X mode is off to stop my computer from lagging. However, you can just go to capture driver instead so that you get the best applications and it's faster. Now, this is uh, this is step five. When you go into step five, it says more options. This is the more option part, and this is just everything that you need to know about for more options. The other parts aren't actually changed. So, the file size I have unlimited, however, you can put to limit by size meaning obviously YouTube can only take 10 minutes if you're not a partner so I do suggest putting it to limit by time however I haven't because I'm an idiot but you can also limit by size and the next part which is MISC you've got reminders I have it to restart recording or warning so it obviously will warn you when you need to restart recording and that's it in that, that everything else in there is standard the advanced everything's off except from sound recording threads get higher CPU priority everything else is standard in there now you click OK and go to the step 6 and I've got it to full screen and show record toolbar during record and if you want to get this down the bottom of your start menu you just literally click on this button here and then go to run in taskbar, simple as that. Now this next part is after you actually want to export. So you finish that, you've saved the movie, you go into the editor and this is where that is that you're going to export and this is that. So that's not down here anymore, That's the export. this is the export part after the movie is actually done. Now I've got it to Windows Media Video, simple as that. Sometimes I do use ABI, but this one I haven't. Then I have, this is all these sections, this is general. I have it to set to the whole movie rather than the selected frames, otherwise it's not going to do the whole movie. I have the scale set to percent, the width is 100% and the height is 100%, otherwise it wouldn't record your whole screen. And keep aspect ratio. Next step, which is video, I have it to full frame rate, which is 14 FPS. Again, that's the standard. Video quality is Windows Media Video 9. The quality is 100%. Some reason it puts itself standard to 75 or 80, but I suggest put it to 100%. The reason why I do it to 80 is so it takes up less time uh, to export. However, I do suggest put it to 100%. And one minus pass, which I don't actually even know what it means. Audio is export audio. If you didn't export, if you didn't create audio with it, no point in exporting sound. If you did, obviously do. I have it to the Windows Media Audio 9.2, which comes with the media player. 44kHz stereo, again one minus pass, and you can set to VBR, which I haven't, and the bit rate is 40kbps. Next part, which is auto scroll, which is what everyone was waiting for. I have sometimes I do set this to auto scroll. However, in this video I won't be, so you can see the whole thing because my mouse has been mouse has been yeah, my mouse has been moving around a lot. 
I have this set to use auto scroll, mouse in center, and then I have the width to 640 and the height to 360. That means that it will cover from around here to around there ish. It's just so you got a good set. That is it, that is all of my settings. After that, it will go back to the standard. You do all that and you'll have the same quality as I do. This is it, that's it. That took that was very long, five and a half minutes. If you want the images of all these, they'll be in the description in the order they were in this video. That is it. If you like my videos, please go and subscribe. I hope you like this video as it was very, very wanted by me of this. Sorry for the long one. Uh, if you like my videos, please go and subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching.